everybody, it's Ron Henry Satus. I'm show you how to make saucy Turkish meatballs. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so for this recipe I'm going to use one kilo of lamb mince. Now this can be done with beef as well, or you can even do half lamb, half beef, that's up to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is get one small onion, and I'm using a brown one, and we're just going to grate this straight in. So we'll season this with a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground allspice, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and finally I'll add one tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander. If you don't like coriander, you can use parsley. And we're just gonna give this a very good mix together and get it all well combined. Okay, so we're just gonna cover this with some cling wrap, and we're gonna place this into the fridge for about one or two hours, just to let those flavors start to develop. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is shape these. So we'll just grab, say about a golf ball size of our meat mixture, and just in our hands, we just want to smooth it into a nice spear. Just like so. Now you can make these any size you want. Alright guys, so just into a large pan on a medium to high heat, we'll add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil, and once it all heats up, we'll go ahead and add in our meatballs. So guys, you want to be able to start hearing that sizzling sound straight away. If not, your pan is too cold, so take them out and wait for it to be hot. So all we're doing at this point is browning our meatballs on all sides. Alright guys, that's looking pretty good now. So what we're going to do is add in two cups of tomato puree or tomato passata. I'm also going to add in one cup of chicken stock. And we just want to bring that up to the boil. So we can roll our meatballs in the sauce while that's coming up to the boil just to make sure they're nice and covered. So at this point we're going to season this with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter, and we're going to bring down our heat to low to medium, place a lid on, and we want to simmer these for around 10 to 15 minutes. Alright guys, so I'm just at the 10 minute mark now, and our meatballs are nicely cooked, and our sauce is nice and thick. So I don't really want to go further than that. If you want, you can take out the meatballs at this point and reduce the sauce down for a couple more minutes to thicken it up. But I personally wouldn't do it, so that's up to you. So let's go ahead and serve. Okay, and there we have it. Jokes. That's just our meatballs. What we're going to do now is pour our sauce over it. And we'll go to about that level there. You don't want to go up all the way. Remember the meatballs are our standout in this, not the sauce. And we're still not done. What I'm going to do now it's just adding some yogurt in. Now you don't have to do this, but just look at the color difference. And the yogurt goes very well with this sauce. So I'm just using Greek style yogurt, don't use Sweden. And what we'll do now, is add some freshly chopped coriander. And just look at that. All right guys, and that's all there is to it. So that was my take on saucy Turkish meatballs. It came out looking beautiful as you saw. Now, you can obviously have this on its own, but you can also put some pilaf rice on the side. Once the rice absorbs all that sauce, trust me, that'll be amazing. As always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Now, let's give this a try, although it is still a bit hot. Oh, that is sensational. I'll see you all next time.